join me in putting your hands together for your senator, Senator Stephen Bradford. That's a whole lot of hype. Really, that was a whole lot of hype. And I don't need this. You know, I guess this, all these steps back here, you know, I'm not vertically challenged like some. But anyway. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm hiding. Thank you, Councilwoman. But first, let me say thank you to all of you out here today. Uh, for, more importantly, for the parents who have brought your kids out here to make sure that they're prepared to start back to school. That's critically important that they have the, not only uh, all the tools and necessities, but also having health checkups. We have our health care providers out here today. We have so many resources uh, available to you. So give a round of applause to all the folks who showed up to provide information, provide all kind of support. And I just want to quickly recognize many of the sponsors. We could not have done this without our sponsors. So let me recognize Charter Communications, Cypress Creek Renewables, Google, uh, Marathon uh, Refinery, Stizzy, Watson Land Company, Intuit Dome, that's the Clippers over there, Go Clippers, Waste Resources, DoorDash, Western States Petroleum Association, Cal Water, Disney, McDonald's, who's going to be providing lunch to each and every one of you today, uh, Pepsi, Gillard Global Group, and the Water Replenishment District. So thank you. Give them a round of applause. We could not have done this without them. And again, we have a tremendous amount of exhibitors here today, and I just want to quickly recognize the Asian American Drug Abuse Program. Thank you all for being aware of that. I just saw them. They're, okay, there's a booth over there. Assurance, T-Mobile, Boys and Girls Club of Carson. I saw Kim walking around, Ms. Richards, the executive director. Uh, the Department of Insurance, California State, Dominguez Seals. Let's give Dominguez Seals a round of applause for making this campus available. I know Dr. Parham could not be here today, but I know his able body assistant, David Gamboa, is somewhere around here. So we want to recognize David as well and say thank you. Uh, uh, Spectrum, Charter Communications, uh, Community Eye Center and Vision Learn. We're doing eye checks, so uh, if you need eye screening, make sure you go over there. Community Legal Aid. Our CHP, handing out bike helmets. Give them a round of applause, making sure that if you ride your bike, you ride safely with a helmet on your head. Uh, Fundamentals of Fatherhood, the Home Depot, Housing uh, Rights Center, Intuit Dome again, Kia Form, Connecta, who's providing ice cream, so make sure you get some ice cream before it's all gone. And... KJLA Street Team, give them a round of applause. We are providing the music, providing the sounds. LA County Ch uh, Child Support and Social Services Department, L LA County Department of Public Health, LA Unified School District, give them a round of applause for all that they do, their Early Childhood Education Division, LA County Library, our Los Angeles Job Corps, LA Trade Tech College, LAWA, UCLA Health, McDonald's Southern California again, Natural History Museum, Make sure you guys take advantage of that amazing museum on wheels. Make sure the kids and the adults come out and see it. Uh, let me see. Walgreens, also over in the corner. Uh, senior Fight Back uh, in our Strategic Based Community Charges and Planned Parenthood of Los Angeles. So those are our sponsors and uh, exhibitors also. And I just want to recognize some of the elected officials who came out to join us. Our individual has been here every year helping us out. The councilman from the city of Lawndale, Pat Kearney. Come on up here, Pat Kearney, with, with those, look, look at those legs, man. He got the best legs. We got Telly Cock, Todd Griffin. Where's Kelly? She started to beat me up early. There she is. Yeah, all right. Uh, Tanya Ortiz Franklin, our LA Unified School Board member. Come on over here. Assemblyman Mike Gibson. Surly Suarez from Lawndale. Uh, and Pat, you see Pat Kearney. And Dion Falk from the city of Inglewood. Where's Councilman Falk? Oh, there she is, hiding in the shade. Former councilwoman, um, what's your name? Michelle Chambers. <laughs> Michelle Chambers. She's also happened to be running for a low office called the Senate. So what's up? We, we got. Calm down, Mike Gibson. Okay. But uh, I'm honored to represent the 35th Senate District, which we find ourselves here today. But. We also have assembly people who represent this area as well. An individual who grew up here in Carson, lives here in Carson, was a former city council person, and I'm going to bring him up also. My colleague in the legislature, Assemblyman Mike Gibson. He needs the steps. Yeah. I need the steps. Can you, can you do me a favor? Can you put your hands together and give Senator Steve Bradford a round of applause? Uh, come on, you can do better than that. Wake some people up in Carson. 
again, um, I want to give um, kudos and thanks to our state senator, Steve Bradford, um, one, for putting this on. Um, he does it with a spirit of excellence, uh, with the great partnership of Cal State University of Dominguez Hills. We are certainly excited to be here. So Senator Steve Bradford overlaps my uh, assembly district. Assembly district is 65, so uh, it's where you are right now is part of the 65th state assembly district. And so we're so excited to be here. Uh, with the parents and the children getting all these resources. We thank Lottie Dottie and everybody for being out here and supporting this great day. Um, again, LA Unified School District, Mike Romero, thank you so very much for being here. Um, this is about our children. This is about making sure that the resources are given to the parents and to the children so that when school starts back, that they can make sure that they have everything that they need. And so I'm happy to be here. Again, I want to thank Senator Steve Bradford for doing a yeoman's job. Um, I'm Mike Gibson, and as our council member, Juwan Hilton says, I approve this message. And I also failed to mention the newest council person from the city of Gardena, where I started my career, none other than Wanda Love. Give Wanda Love a round of applause. She don't play. She do not play. Anyway, so I'm hoping everybody's going to have a great day today. It's a tremendous amount of resources. We want you to take advantage of all the information. Again, this is not just about backpacks. It's about resources that are being made available to all the young folks as well as their parents as well. So thank you guys for coming out. If you need anything, as I uh, said, come ask any of us to stay hydrated. We have plenty of water out here today. And what else? Kelly? Oh, come on, Kelly, you've really been beating me up all day. Let's give Kelly, Kelly Todd Griffin a round of applause. Come on out. Come on. That's it. I love you. That's it right there. And you're my senator, so I want to make sure. Yes, I did. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I'm with the California Black Women's Collective Empowerment Institute. We're really excited that we're here on the campus, thanks to both the Senator Bradford and Assemblymember Mike Gibson. Um, we're, we're been doing a lot of work here and we just wanted to be here and support the work that Senator Bradford, I really do care for him because he is my Senator and he's doing good work for us. So thank you so much and look forward to sharing all of the resources with you guys. I'm gonna walk through myself. So thank you so much. And again, we couldn't do it without our volunteers. We, I see Stizzy in the house again, two years in a row. Thank you for being here. So we couldn't do it without our volunteers. So give our volunteers a round of applause. They made it possible. And to my staff, I want to say a big shout out. Thank you for putting all this together. I get a whole lot of credit, but it's a whole lot of people behind the scenes that make it happen. Derek Mims, you want to say something on behalf of the college? I don't see David Gamboa. And where are the AKs at? Oh, yeah, i got to give the AKs a shout out. They showed out. I mean, look at them. You know, despite being in pink and green, they are right with me, okay? Well, welcome everybody to Cal State Dominguez Hills, home of the Toros. If you know the sign, let's get it. Anyway, thank you for being here. And we always, on behalf of President Thomas Parham, we always, always work with this great, fantastic, magnificent Senator Steve Bradford. He makes it work, and he brings home the bacon, just to let you all know. We have gotten more money from the legislature since he's been in tenure. Him and our assembly member, Mike Gibson, they have worked the Black Caucus and brought over $80 million above the budget to Cal State Dominguez Hill. They need a lot of love for that. That's a strong tandem. That doesn't happen too often. And we thank them very much. So have a good time. Learn more today. Parents, cousins, uncles, come see our tent. We're right next to the senator's tent. Learn more about Dominguez Hills. I'll be there. Welcome. Have a good day. And we have our school board member who represents this district, Ms. Artiz Franklin. Come on up. Thank you. Thank you, State Senator. Isn't this a beautiful day? It's going to be hot, so stay cool. I'm Tanya Ortiz Franklin. I represent Los Angeles Unified School District from San Pedro to South LA. And I'm so glad to see the students here. Let's hear the young people. Where are the students at? School starts on August 14th, so this is perfectly timed to get your resources, get your free backpack. Thank you to all the sponsors and the supporters who are here today. Be sure to check out our early childhood table over in the, the back corner over here. If you have a four-year-old or know a four-year-old, public school is free in LA Unified for all four-year-olds by September 1st. So come on out to LA Unified. We're happy to 
partner with you. We're looking forward to a phenomenal school year. When does school start again? August 14th. August 14th. We will see you in school. Have a beautiful day. Thank you, Senator. Hi, everybody. I know you guys are ready to eat, so I'm going to make it very quick. I just want to first say thank you to Senator Bradford and his office for bringing together this amazing event. As he said, I work with my sister. Um, our organization was started by our mom 30 plus years ago, and my sister and I now work together. My mom is retired, and education is something that's very important to us in our organization and also in McDonald's. We support our employees with paying for college, also with flexible schedules, and we have the pleasure of being able to participate in events like this that support education. So we're happy to be here, we're grateful, and I hope you guys enjoy the food. Thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you guys in our restaurants. In addition to the food, we also have a booth over here where you can take a picture and um, decorate your frame. So thank you for being here, we appreciate it. Stand up. 